So if you're using Create Studio for social media, Create Studio has you covered. Um, you would think that I've used some of these because I'm doing this on YouTube, but I haven't. Um, but they do have a lot of different elements for you to use, and they even have two sections right in Create Studio. In the studio, right here, they have a YouTube section and a social media section. And I made it look like they were together because I just edited that to have it as a image, but they are in a little separate in the studio. But let's, and they have um, this button right here. This icon right here in the upper right, that means it's a click and drag. So you can click and drag it to your canvas or you can click and drag it to your timeline, whichever way you prefer. Um, Clicking and dragging to the timeline was something they added in Create Studio 3, which I'm still getting used to and getting out of the habit of just dragging it to the canvas, but you can do either one. So let's take a peek at the YouTube part. All right, they have a whole bunch of categories. They have the subscribe, and every time I click on that, it takes a little time to load them up. So I'm gonna show you the transitions first. So they have different transitions that you can use that aren't necessarily editable, but let's check this one. So this one is just a quick subscribe. And if you want to use this without, you can't put your channel name on it or anything, but if you want to um, use it without sound, you don't have to export it and get rid of the sound. You can just click on the element and put the volume to zero and no sound, or you can just reduce it if you don't want it too loud. And you can just play around with that. So that's one that you can use from the social media um, transitions, and they have the old roll stoppers. I have a hard time with that. Um, so you can just check that out. This is kind of cool with this thing, YouTube. Let's go back to subscribe because they'll be there now. So here you can have a bunch of different options. Let me expand this because it's kind of small to see. So I won't show all of these because that would just take too long, but say this one I must have downloaded at some point. Um, so you can have a scroll up. Now that actually looked like it started a little higher, so you can always move it down if you want move it to the right or the left. As I say it at the wrong way, I do know my left from right, I promise. So these are editable. So if you look at this, if you click on and highlight it, you can change this to your name. You can change this to... Now, obviously, as we look at this, I'm going to have to change some of the spacing. So I can open this by double clicking or I can open it by clicking it and then um, either the open group here or the open group here. This has the animations on it. So I'm going to click on that and I can change spacing position here or I can go right inside and do some moving as well if I have to and it's kind of that first one that's the problem so I can also um, reduce the size of that if I need to move some things around um, you can just click and move it whoops that's a group so I don't want to do that so actually I moved it so now I'm going to do Command Z, or you can use this undo. And then what I want to do is I want to select the circle, hold my shift key and the check mark, and then move it so I don't get it off. So you can just move these around here. You can edit the image. So you can click on this and put replace media. You would need to have a media in here or upload one to your project. Um, 
I don't have anything, but let's just say we did this. See how it replaced it? Clearly, that's not the image I would want, but it's all I had up there because I didn't know I was going to click on that, um, that asset. So there are some that you can do right there. Then you can look and just see all the other different kinds of things. We also have character ones. So let me move that out of the way. Um, you have a clown one. You have a superwoman one. You have the mascot. You have Jack. You have an astronaut. You have a plane. I know that I had downloaded that for one. Um, so you can have the plane that flies through. So just go through, take a peek at all of those. You also have openers. There's a Jack one that would be opening the box is going to fall yeah. apart. You have a bunch of openers here, and then you also have outros. So just take a peek at all that. Then we also have a bunch of, I made this bigger, so now I'm looking for the social media. You also have a whole bunch of social media. You have elements, so you can make some, um, there's text boxes, there's the like, there's all of the different, um, here's one for a voice message that you're able to do here, one has. Now, the irony is we've got here the Twitter logo, which is now X. So we don't have any X symbols in Create Studio that I am aware of right now, but that will probably change when they add it, but I'm still going to always call it Twitter anyways. So we have all of those. We have reviews. So if you want to do some reviews and animated reviews for your videos, you can do that. There's also a lot in scenes. So you can either get your scenes through here. You can do any ratio that you want, any resolution that you want. And if you type in here, you're going to find a whole bunch of social media templates. Just keep going and going and going and going and going. You also have those, if you are already in here as well, you can go to scenes and here they're showing up again. So you can access these either through here, the studios here, here's your scenes, or you can click here and download them there. So those are just a bunch of things that you can use that are already in Create Studio. The one thing I didn't click on that I know are there too are all of the different, um, there they are. So we have all of some of the different um, icons that are animated. We have some of these that you can also use. So all you would have to do is download it, click and drag it, and this is also editable. So if you want to, oh, sorry, because the text is in white, that we're not seeing it on the white background. So let me just change that to black. I was wondering what was wrong with it. Um, and so you can just very quickly edit that by typing on it. And I don't even know what my channel is. Is it created by Maureen? So now you very easily and quickly have an animated element for your videos. So have fun, check it all out. And there's probably more in there that I don't know. And you can also check in the studio in the... I, I blew this up, so I'm not as sure where we are. We have our scroll stoppers, but we also have the interface. So you're able to drag and drop. I have the wrong resolution here, so it's not showing it exactly how it would be. But um, let me do that again because it won't resize without me doing it. And then you can just go in and change all of these images as well. They make it so simple. Have fun.